This is the ProLogic weblink from SecureM. This is a network connected lock, which means you can remotely program it. How we do that is this lock has a communication chip inside it that allows us to communicate wirelessly to this device, which is a wireless access point. How this works is it plugs in by ethernet cable, and we have a power connection as well. And then it talks to the software across your wired network. However, when we send information to this lock, it sends the information wirelessly. The key advantage to that is you don't have to run any network cables through the safe to get to the safe lock. So this sits in the network within about 30 feet of the, uh, the safe lock, and it sends information to the lock to program it, and it receives information from the lock related to its audit trail and activity. The signal between the wireless access point and the safe lock is wireless. We encrypt that wireless communication in a very structured way. It is AES 128 bit encryption, but on top of that, we add our own 17 digit one-time code encryption key, such that every session where it communicates back and forth to the software in the lock, the encryption key changes so that if someone were smart enough to sit here and figure out the encryption scheme or intercept the signal, the next time it happens, it would be a different encryption and therefore the information is of no use to them whatsoever. This is a very highly secure system. The lock itself has a keypad and a lock body. In this case, I'm showing the lock body here as a swing bolt, but it could be a swing bolt, it could be a spring bolt, or it could be a deadbolt, depending on your safe configuration and it also is connected to a junction box. The junction box connects between the entry pad and the lock body to allow you to plug in AC power. This is an AC powered system. Because we're communicating all the time with the wireless access point into the software, it uh, sends information back and forth and this takes a fair amount of power. So we wanna make sure that it's always AC powered. We do have a battery in the keypad as a backup, which is right here. But um, if power should go down, you can always operate your safe normally using the, uh, your code on the safe to open it. Now, this particular lock has 99 users plus a super code, so 100 users. It has a 1000 event audit trail that is also then uploaded to the software in a real-time basis. So on your software, you can have an unlimited number of audit trail events. As I said, it's remotely programmable. This means that everything that you would normally do on the keypad, adding users, changing programming, um, looking at audit trail, all of that information can be done from a remote location on your PC. It has time delay, it has time lock. In fact, with this lock, we have four time periods per day where you can have time lock set up. It has um, daylight savings time, it has dual mode or single mode, I enter one code to open the safe with single mode. I enter two codes to open the safe with dual mode. It also has something called dual manager mode that allows me to specify certain employees who have been assigned to this lock as managers. And then I would need one manager code and one regular staff member code to open it. That's called dual manager mode. This fits on a standard safe. It, is, uh, it takes the programming and capability of this very featured safe lock and puts it in a really easy to use software package so that wherever you are in the connected world, you can view this lock, understand what's going on with it, get alerts both by email and by SMS text, and you can also program it. If you add a user to the system, it simply sends the information to the wireless access point, the access point sends the information down to the lock, and now that user is enrolled in this lock. Now, I mentioned that we have a junction box at the back here. This junction box uh, can be connected to five different lock bodies. So if you have a multiple compartment safe, we can operate up to five lock bodies with that single entry pad using this junction box. When you assign a user to this safe, you can also specify which locks they're able to open. And that's easily done in the software. Once the programming is sent to the lock, the lock operates as normal. I enter a code to gain access and open the door. But the beauty of this lock is no matter where I am in the connected world, I can program it, I can view it, I can see its real-time status, I can get alerts and notifications related to what's happening at the lock, and it makes it all very easy with a very full-featured safe lock system. That's the ProLogic Weblink by SecureM.